So with things being so expensive and you know inflation and all that different stuff, I thought it'd be helpful to post a couple videos about how to help you make your dollars go a little bit further, make them stretch a little bit. And so today I wanted to talk about just a few ideas I had to lower your water bill. Now, if you have your own ideas, please post them in the comments below so that me and the others watching this can, can you know, get some ideas for themselves. Um, first off, the first idea I had, um, if you have a shower that has the dual handles instead of the single handle, you can you can choose how much how fast the water comes out. If you turn them all the way, for instance, it's going to let all the water out. Well, if you only turn a little bit, you can make it where it'll have less pressure, allows less water to go out, and therefore you can take the same length of a shower without using up as much water. Um, this might sound like it's not that big of a deal, but if you're taking showers every single day and draining out your water heater every single day from fill to empty, that's going to really take away from your water bill. It gets very expensive. And most of us are not going to do things like stop with the water and then get a bucket and scoop it out and water our trees with that water. You could do that, but most of us aren't going to do that. Um, so that's a lot of water that's pretty much just single use then that's gone. I know a lot of people wash their dishes by hand, um, and but nowadays there's a lot of water um, dishwashers that use up sometimes even less water than you use in your sink. So it might be worth it to switch to a to switch to a dishwasher instead. Um, another idea is that you could fill up both sinks, one with the soap and one with just water. And you could do it that way and make sure to stay there and fill, don't fill it up until you're ready to wash the dishes and then just go ahead and go through all of them. So that way you don't have to keep refilling and changing out the water and all that stuff. Um, just a good idea there. <laughs> but so if, you're, if your shower has the single lever, just the one where you just turn it, you don't really get to choose the water pressure on that, just the water uh, temperature. So that's something that might not help you. Um, another idea is you can uh, turn off your shower when you are ready to lather. Now this can be a little bit difficult, but it's, you can do it where you can use up only a minute or two of water. It's difficult, but it's doable. First thing you get in, you, you turn on the water. Um, you, you can't preheat the water. That's kind of a trick there. So you turn on the water, you get, as, you get wet, you rub it in as, as fast as you can. Make sure to get your soap and wet it. <laughs> That's the first mistake that we all make. Turn off your water and then you'll be able to lather it and do it like that. Now I use um, shampoo bars which are like soap but you use them on your hair. So I have to remember to get my bars wet at the beginning but this can really help lower your lower your water bill because um, you're not using as much water. Um, another thing is you can take a shower with your spouse, kind of change your change your schedule a little bit where you can do it at the same time and you guys can just switch positions or whatever and that helps you know because just the shower at one time rather than two times um, another idea is you can all have like a shower day if you have a large family uh, especially this works this works a lot better if your kids are younger if they're older it doesn't work so great um, so basically the idea is you take your shower plug the drain you take your shower don't, don't pee in the bath. <laughs> and then you get out and then your kids go in and they take a bath. And, and so that way you don't have to fill the bath up twice. Um, that doesn't really work after your kids are like, I don't know, like eight or nine it stops working. <laughs> but before then it, it works okay. Uh, like for two or three year olds. Another idea that I had is you can time your showers. So basically you put like um, five minutes on, on your phone and then the alarm will go off in five minutes and once it's time you just you get out um it kind of become you can even turn it to kind of like a game you're like gotta, gotta fat, wash up as fast as you can and if you beat the timer you get to you know actually enjoy some of the water before you have to turn it off um, some of the best ways to do this um, about saving water in a shower is to not try and go from a 40 minute shower to a one minute shower but to be more temperate maybe go 10 minute shower where you can still get all your stuff done but it doesn't become overwhelming. Another idea that you can have that will help you lower your water bill, don't take a shower every day. Um, I know that some people are like, but then I'll be all thinky. I, I get that. Um, maybe do a sponge bath and just maybe wipe off the sweat or something like that. Um, you can get different towelettes. Um, I have some right here that I use for biking where 
you uh, you just take it out as like this this towel and it hy hydrates your skin and you rub yourself down everywhere. Um, <clears throat> so there, I mean, those are ideas. But once again, you're gonna have to do a cost analysis. If they cost too much, it really doesn't make any sense for you to do it to try and lower your water bill. <laughs> Um, another idea is don't flush the toilet until a few times. Um, this really depends on whether you're drinking enough water because <laughs> it can really start to smell and be gross. But I mean at nighttime, for instance, um, you can go in there and, you know, if you get up multiple times throughout the night, you know, go pee and don't flush it and then it doesn't have to keep refilling, especially if you don't have one of the newer toilets where it has the, like the pee and the poop flush, you know. Um, so. I mean, the, some people might not like that idea, and I understand it's a little bit gross, so it's really your preference. Um, and definitely don't do, if you do that though, if you're going to leave peeing it for multiple times, don't leave the toilet seat up because if you drop something like your phone or your jacket or your makeup, it's going to go straight into the pee water and it'll, it'll be gone. <laughs> That'll be the end of the story of the makeup. So um, another idea, don't let the water run when you do dishes. Sometimes we turn on the sink and we just kind of you know, and just sitting there, it's just going down the drain. Um, fill both sinks when you're ready, as I already mentioned, um, and then go through uh, the dishes. And the thing is, though, this is the trick is with doing dishes, if you're going to do them by hand, make sure that you do them at the same time that you fill out the sink, because otherwise it's just going to, you think, oh, I'm going to do this that way, I'll be, it'll be ready for me. It never works. You're just going to forget about them, then you have this gross, nasty water that you got to empty out, just a waste of water, just ugh, gross. Um, another idea that I had is only do laundry on one day. So sometimes we kind of have this running thing where we have laundry going all the time, but then it just adds up to having more work to do. Um, sorry. But then it just kind of adds up to having more work to do, and it you always have this unfinished feeling and just like ugh. And then you forget about it and you have to run it through again because it was left in the washer and you forgot to dry it and then uh, there's that. And then it takes up a lot of a lot of time and it seems like you do laundry more often. So if you instead limit it to just one day, um, it's a lot more manageable and it feels like it's not so big of a deal. So just some ideas there. Um, once again, if you have any idea, any other ideas that you have to help lower the water bill, uh, please post them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to have another video about you know tips to try and save to maybe just a couple bucks here or there, and uh, we'll see where that gets us. But uh, you guys have a great rest of your uh, day.